Well, you've heard it over and over again. Be careful what you post online. And tonight, yet another reason to heed that warning. Mike Sugarman shows us how social networking can doom a young person's college dreams. Kids hanging out together. And what do they do? They check Facebook. So how many times a day do you check? Um, I don't know, 20 times maybe. Facebook is the way young people communicate these days and often how they show themselves to the world. No, what they're thinking about, and to be frank, is how they can fit in and be cool. But the problem is, is that when the things that we think of doing in person that we used to do are now out there on the web for everyone to see. Including college admission and scholarship officials. A new survey from the National Scholarship Providers Association finds that a quarter of them look at an applicant's Facebook page or Twitter account or just Google them while making a decision. That might not go so well. The sobering news to college counselors like David Montesano. So save yourself the trouble and the agony and don't put anything on Facebook or any of the other social media that you wouldn't want your grandmother to read. We're, we're telling students they have to be careful. Burlingame High School advisor Lori Friel understands how the world works these days. It doesn't mean she has to like it. We need to have some privacy. And this is this is a place where students can be social and I and I I just believe that it's it, it isn't fair. Fair or not, it seems to be the new reality. Perception's reality. And what we should be doing is managing scrupulously our reputations as we go into the admission process. Some coaches are even asking for athletes' passwords so they can monitor social media activity. Potential employers are doing the same thing. It's one of the reasons college senior Stephanie Hatt gave up her Facebook account. As time went on, I noticed some things, people looking at your photos that you didn't want them to see, and then they would start talking. Or saying things on Facebook that everyone could see. Mike Sugarman, CBS 5.